Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm kind of bulk filming today, not gonna lie. We're kind of bulk filming videos just to get them put out here. Um, well, not to get them put out here, but to get them done so that they're already pre-filmed. Just in case I have a little bit of time where I cannot film. So, the second video I've filmed here today. Um, and this video is going to be teaching you guys. This is hopefully a new series I'd like to start. And this video is going to be teaching you guys how to do a bunny hop on your BMX bikes. So, step one. Get a BMX bike. I'm going to be making this a series though, basics of BMX, and I'm going to be teaching you how to do tricks, how to do everything on your BMX bike that I know how to do, spreading my wisdom to you. So the first real step is you want to roll around on your bike on a flat surface like what I've got behind me here, on a flat surface and you just want to get yourself nice and comfortable. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. Okay, now we're on to step two. Now you've rolled around on your bike, you know how the geometry feels, you're comfortable with how she feels, you're on to step number two. And that step is going to be still comfortable rolling around, pulling up on the bars a little bit, pulling up with your feet on the pedals like so. I'll demonstrate that. Rolling around right now. Now, you guys are only going to be able to hop as high as you can pull up on your bars. So if you can pull your bars up to here, you can hop up to here. Because the way a bunny hop works is you pull your bars up, get your bike to level out, and now however how you pull your bars is how high you're hopping. Okay, um, so on to the next step. Little side note about the last step of pulling up on your bars. It is definitely easier if you compress your knees a little bit and then pull up and kind of push up kind of motion um, you might loop out I'll show you what a loop out is real quick but you might loop out just you know catch yourself so that's what looping out is you know you'll probably do that a few times just with pulling up get used to having your bars up by your chest and your weight leaned over forwards the next step and this step is the one that I don't see a lot of people who make this video doing and that is pushing your weight forward on the bars and angling your feet down like that and kicking up to tuck everything up into you. I know it's possible to do it without doing that but when I was learning how to bunny hop that made it so much easier to tuck to get the back end of the bike to come up by pulling, point, uh, pointing my feet down at the ground a little bit. Like you don't want to just be like flat like that because now your feet aren't going to stay on the pedals. But you want to be at like a 45, a little less than a 45 actually. Probably like a 30 degree angle with your feet on the pedals. And then just push your weight up. Don't bring your front wheel up. Don't push too hard because you don't want to go over the bars. But basically just roll around and do this motion. And I'll show you that now. So kind of do that. If you saw I went over the bars a little bit, I kicked it too hard. Um, that might happen again. If you feel yourself like, if you feel like you've gone over the balance point of the front end of the bike, just push the bars down, step off your pedals, and you know, walk away basically. Jump over the bars is what people refer to it as. So that's your next step. I think this is, that was step four. This might be step five coming up. But step five, put it together low on the ground. So that pull up motion with that push motion, just because once you get that synchronized, that's what a bunny hop is. So your next step is to be try to sync them together. Don't pull up too hard, don't try to go too high, just little hops, I'll show you that now. So 
So basically you do that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna work into getting higher and higher hops. So you can hop up things, you can do grinds, stuff like that. Now, why do you wanna do bunny hops? You might be asking yourself. Um, well, one, it's a gateway to so many things. You can do so much more if you know how to bunny hop. And I'm actually, I'm gonna pull my phone out of my pocket and I'm gonna give you guys some little tidbits and some tricks that I do just flat ground with the bunny hop. So you guys are gonna be seeing that right now. You'll see why you wanna learn bunny hops because I'm just, I have no ramps right here. So everything I'm about to do is going to be flat ground all because of bunny hops. So let's get into it. Finally! Give me some credit, that was opposite. Smooth as can be. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if this helped you with learning how to bunny hop. Um let me know down below in the comment section what how to's you think I should be doing next. Um, and I will make those so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out